sure that your community is well taken care of, to make sure that when the students leave and they graduate from Ashwaubenon High School, they're ready for anything that they have in front of them, whether it's an apprenticeship program, whether it's a one or two year um, college, whether it's a four year university, or anything else that they decide to pursue in life. So um, the, the, it's easy to see all the work that the Technology Education Department is doing here, and I'm excited to follow along in this, in this journey. So once again, congratulations, and thank you for being here. Good evening. Uh, my name is Steve Meyer. I am a technology and engineering teacher and a STEM coordinator in the Brilliant School District. Uh, I'm here this evening uh, as president of the Wisconsin Technology Education Association, and the WTEA is, uh, associated, is a group of approximately 500 teachers from across the state, technology and engineering teachers, okay? and we are the governing body that uh, keeps track of all the technology and engineering teachers uh, across our state. Now, one thing that I find very interesting is two of your teachers, Mr. Stroud and Mr. Barnhart, are on our board of directors for the WTEA. Now, I think that speaks volume that two of the teachers in Ashwaubenon School District are on the board of directors of the largest technology and engineering association in the state of Wisconsin. So that truly says we have a leaders amongst a group of leaders. So nice job, the both of you. I'd like to congratulate all of you on the Bo Mettler Innovation Center. And I want to commend those of you that have donated lots and lots of in-kind time, in-kind materials, and also some of the monetary donations that are coming in. You are truly leaders across our state and not only that, across our country, on what can happen when school districts, communities, and businesses and industry work together. You can truly make dreams happen. Person who Bo is to this name and this great thing that's going on here. So Bo is my nephew, and Bo was born in November 9th, 1990, so he would have been 25 years old today. And when Bo was born, he was born with a very serious heart defect. And that heart defect took him on a very long medical journey. The first five years of his life, each year he had open heart surgery and he battled that and, and set some pretty miraculous uh, records on recovery. And as he was growing up, he was a good student, but always wondered what was gonna define him. Was this heart defect gonna define him or what was his purpose here on earth? And when he came to the high school, he had the wonderful opportunity of having these teachers that we're talking about today, Dave Stroud, and, and, and uh, Mr. Barner, I'm sorry, I lost track there. And when Bo was here, Bo loved coming to high school, loved taking all the tech, technical ed classes, enjoyed his time here, talked a lot about it with the family, did the Skills USA, enjoyed that part of, of his journey here in the high school. And when he graduated, he went on to NWTC. And at NWTC, he was in the AutoCAD program as well and that's where he defined what his career path was going to be and it was going to be in this area and then later in his life when he was um, five years ago he got sick and he couldn't get himself past that illness and we lost Bo and when we lost Bo close friends of ours started this foundation and then since then a lot of the family and close friends have created a stronger and bigger board and we have done a lot of great things for the community we've given a lot of technology to all the different hospitals from Children's Hospital in Milwaukee to Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, to St. Vincent's, St. Mary's, um, um, Bellin Hospital, Bellin Psychiatric for pediatric care as well. And one of the things we're doing now is giving to, to this cause, we think it's great. But the money we're donating didn't give it its name. These teachers, these wonderful teachers, saw Bo as that student that represents that student that comes into the high school and is looking for that journey or that vision on what they're going to do with themselves when they finish high school and what career path will they choose. So we can't thank you enough. We're excited to see all the orange and we're excited to see Bo's name. And he lives on through these great things that are happening in, in memory of him. So thank you.
Well, I'm, I'm Tom Barnhart. For those of you that don't know me, I'm one of the Tech Ed instructors here, and I just want to thank you personally so much for coming. You just made this a wonderful event and a great kickoff to this campaign. Tonight, you'll see outstanding projects created by our students. Tonight, you'll see and hear about awards earned by our current program. But above witnessing all of these projects and achievements, you'll have the truly awesome opportunity to meet our students. Here at Schwabenon, we consider these students to be the ultimate showcase. I'd like to introduce four 2016 graduates that represent measurable success of our Tech Ed program, in addition to representing the spirit of the Bull Mettler Innovation Center. Um, Eric, you want to come on up here for a minute? Hello, I'm Eric Durbin, and I've been taking classes here at Ashwaban, and I took most of the Tech Ed classes here, and I've joined many clubs here, like Super Mileage, Formula One, and Skills USA, and it helped me decide what I would like to do with my future, and I'd like to pursue mechanical engineering at Platteville. Hi, everyone. I'm Zach. I've been in the Tech Ed area for all four years of high school, and as a matter of fact, you can see me down here any day of the week. <laughs> um, Tech Ed has been great for me, and has really given me a, a pathway in which I'm going to lead myself through college. Um, this fall, I will be attending UW-Stout for industrial design. Hi, I'm Lindsay. And I haven't really taken in much tech ed programs till this year. And being in those programs made me like decide to go to or for prototype and design at NWTC. And so that just really sparked my interest. Hi, I'm Jacob Weed. I've been in the tech ed department the past four years, and honestly it's opened up so many doors for me. I've been in Formula One, Super Mileage Skills USA, and beyond everything. Countless nights here, NWTC almost every week, and honestly, I can't thank Mr. Barter enough or any of the tech ed department. So it's honestly led me toward mechanical engineering at Platteville, and I can't wait for all the doors that it's open for me. I could go on for hours talking about these four. They are just truly awesome, but I would go on for days and days and days if I was to stand up here and tell you about the 40 plus other students we have here tonight that are along the same pathway as these four students. And they actually go all the way down to the elementary school and middle school. And we've got some awesome makers here tonight. And we're just trying to really to get them turned on to this awesome viable career path and get them going and beyond that you know just just make it this a great place for them to be so um, but uh, I would like to uh, extend a special thanks for the people that put together this event tonight um, and and I'd like to start that out with Barbara Caldos of Somerville Architects Barbara's in orange right over here next to Mark um, Barbara. Thank you so much for your event coordination, and if you get a chance tonight to come up here and see what Somerville put together for us, they just did some beautiful architectural work along with NWTC and Wendy Follett there. They just done a, they made the, the vision a more, a, a closer to a reality than, than I think you could ever come. So it's just it's beautiful. So thank you so much for all your help. Uh, Anne Franz, who's not here, uh, she had a, a terrible <laughs> scheduling conflict, and, but Anne has just been one of the backbones of our advisory board from day one uh, since I moved here to Green Bay. She's just been wonderful, and um, she's just been a continued, uh, uh, given us con continued consultation and support through our advisory board and, and, and just done a great job for us. So thank you so much, Anne and the Manufacturing Alliance. Brad Taylor of Ashwaubenon Schools. I don't know where Brad is, but Brad is just, he's got a magic wand for web, websites and media, and he just did a great job PR in this event for us and getting us off to the right foot. So thank you so much, Brad. It, this is just wouldn't be happening without you, so thank you. I'd like to thank Perry Mettler and the Bull Mettler um, uh, Foundation. We've, we've heard a lot about them, but I just there's never a way you can say enough. Um, not only did they provide t-shirts and water and cookies for everybody tonight, but they were the real spark that lit the fire by helping us purchase that beautiful CNC machine we bought last fall with their support. So thank you so much.
Finally, uh, Dylan's back there. Dylan, don't do it yet, but we gotta thank my pal, Joe Barker. Where's Joe at? Joe Barker, one of the, one of the greatest teachers I know. Joe Barker and NWTC, Northeast Wisconsin Technical College, has always supported us with countless favors to help back our student projects. When you look at how great these cars look on the ground here, or some robot that has some real trick parts to it, it's because we went there to use their equipment and their facilities and their instructors to help get us prepared and ready to use those things. And I thank you so much. And Joe, he's just always been that person that I don't think, yeah, whenever I call him, he knows I'm calling for a favor. And tonight, <laughs> So, and he still answers the phone. That's an amazing thing. Um, but tonight we're going to be we're going to be standing in the shadow of one of those favors. Um, if you don't mind just taking a look to the back of the room here, we'd just like to say thank you to Joe for helping us make that beautiful sound. So I think that sign will definitely stand the test of time. But uh, with that, I'd like to just um, turn this back over to Brian, and then uh, we'll, we'll start the mingle in the back here and have all the students present for you tonight. So, all right. well, Thank you, Mr. Barnhart. And again, thanks, everyone. Before um, you have the opportunity to talk and, and listen and hear some testimony from the students, I would just like to ask um, formally that you carefully consider making a donation we have some pamphlets that Brad Taylor and I will, will hand out. They're just briefly the outline, what is in the, the uh, objective of the Bo Mettler Center. If you know of other businesses or other individuals that you know of a passion that could not be here this afternoon, we'd appreciate you pass that name on to us or better yet, share your story after visiting and talking to some of the students here. Again, the goal is $750,000. We're at about 235000 and we're so extremely appreciative of all of you carving out time. I know all of you are extremely busy and you had to make a sacrifice at this time of the year to be here. So once again, let's give a round of applause for our tech ed teachers, the quality. <laughs> Having the quality who, or the staff has heard me say this a lot, who we hire is the most important decision we make that's no different, I'm sure, in the business and manufacturing area. That's really the bottom line. That's where the rubber hits the road and where things happen between students. It's all about building those relationships. Thanks again, everyone, for being here.